Hello everyone and welcome to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today I'm at a little shopping centre which is in my town and I want to describe it for you because it's a little bit common these days to have shopping centres like this. So basically on the side of a busy main road they've built a few supermarkets. Well I'll tell you what's here. There's one supermarket which is called B&M Home Store, which sells food. It also sells uh, other things like plants and flowers, as well as coffee and tea. That is pre-packed coffee and tea, it's not a cafeteria. And then right next door to it, there's a gymnasium, which is called Pure Gym. It's a little bit strange because uh, this gymnasium is very, very cheap and the way it works is that it has no washing or showering facilities. So the idea is you arrive in your car, you take your exercise and then you go home, which might be fine for some people. Uh, And then next to that, as I just walk past it here, um, is a little baker shop with a little coffee shop in it called Greg's. Oh my, they're doing exercises in the gym. That looks painful. They have a window. (laughs) I'm just looking in and, uh, oh, looks more like some kind of torture. But anyway, if I turn around, what I'm seeing is a busy main road and cars are whizzing by. And there's also a little Starbucks here for those people who enjoy coffee. So I want to go into the garden center in the supermarket. And I'm just going to walk back past the torture chamber <laughs> and go into the, the the supermarket because I want to see what they have and I also want to describe it for you. So I'm walking along uh, what can be described as a really long pavement or an American English sidewalk with cars parked on it. Um, if I look to my right... Uh, There's this busy main road with a Starbucks as well, just sitting there, um, which cars are whizzing into. But that's a a really busy main road. It's one of the main ones. And uh, I'm going to go into this shop, which is called B&M, because I want to look at the flowers. And on the way there, I also want to uh, see the food. Now, there's people coming and going outside of here. Uh, this this shop always reminds me of Walmart in the United States. It has very high shelves, and sometimes it's quite hard to reach up to get what I want, you know. So it's it's not easy. <laughs> right here we are. So I'm walking in. The sound you hear in the background is a very noisy air conditioner, and I'm hearing music as well which, again, seems to be a little bit loud. I'm a bit uncomfortable already. Um, Lots of food everywhere on high shelves. Tea, coffee, soup, um, garden equipment higher up. This is very, very uh, similar to what they have in the United States. And I'm just walking past here. Oh, convenience food, canned goods, nothing fresh so far. Uh, I'm seeing, oh, there's cheese, bread, lemonade, soft drinks, and lines and lines, rows and rows of chocolates. Okay, this is a whole aisle dedicated to chocolates of every kind for children, for adults, sugar, my goodness me, biscuits. Wow, I had no idea that we, we, um, we ate so much sugar and then thinking about it we do because we are a very kind of fast food society everything is disposable next aisle coca-cola crisps nothing healthy my goodness me and um there's also lots of home things you know uh, such as uh, cleaning materials and these things okay so i'm just going to ask someone for some help here just one moment Excuse me. Can you tell me where the garden centre is? 
Until you sit back side now, sit down to the center. Oh, there it is. You'll find the door is underneath there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm not sure if you were able to understand what she said there, but basically she was saying, do you see that big sign there that says garden center? That's where it is. The door is underneath. I knew where the garden center was, actually. I only, uh, I only wanted you to hear the way the woman spoke. And as you can hear, it's nothing like you would be expecting in a shop. Um, most shops here now don't give particularly good service and they certainly wouldn't speak clearly and I feel very sorry for people who come here as um, immigrants. So I'm still walking around here, okay, so now I've reached a section where they're selling wallpaper, paint and these things and I'm just about to walk out into some kind of patio where they sell flowers. The automatic door is opened and I'm now outside and the last time I was here there was a lovely lady with blue hair who helped me. I think she was from Finland actually. She knew a lot about plants. She was certainly Nordic even though she, of course the blue hair wasn't natural. It was dyed I think. But it's very very helpful. So helpful that I actually uh, I um, sent a message to the shop to say thank you so much. Okay, so now I'm looking at compost. <laughs> at least I have little bags here. You know, one of the problems that I had before is that the bags are so big, I can't carry them. And uh, I can't carry them because I don't drive, so I can't carry them to the car. I would really need to um, get a taxi. Or alternatively, I could simply... Um, have them delivered from Amazon. It might be a bit cheaper to do that. So I'll describe what I'm seeing here and then I'll say goodbye. Okay, so it's only 9 a.m. Uh, so I'm looking at garden fences and things that people use in gardens. And I'm not quite sure how I would describe them, to be honest. There's tables, chairs, Fancy stones, uh, slab stones of concrete, if you want to really make your garden look beautiful. Then there's also lovely plants of all kinds here. But I'm also surrounded by wood and a really, really large metal fence, <laughs> presumably to stop people um, to stop people breaking in during the night or burgling the place. Oh, what a beautiful chair. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, so the sun is shining on all these plants. I'm outside, and I guess all these plants are designed to be outside as well. Uh, so they'll catch the rain when it comes, because there's no roof. Okay, I'm on some kind of big patio. And uh, they have sunflowers, metal drums, trash cans, compost, uh, soil. They have everything you could possibly think of. And... Uh, of course, the place is covered in cameras. <laughs> There's loads of cameras here, so I'm kind of being watched, so I better make it look like I'm, I'm actually looking at the plants rather than talking to you. Um, I'm going to buy some heather for my garden. Heather is beautiful because it spreads so much and it can take up all of the spaces that are in my garden. And I also want some fern. I might buy some soil as well because I don't think the soil in my garden is very good. It's very soggy and wet. And that's it. And uh, I'm still hearing 90s music. I think it's 90s anyway. Oh, it's a garden shed. They sell sheds here as well. They're very nice. But all these bags of compost don't have handles for me to carry. I mean, they're too heavy for me to carry anyway, but. Uh, yeah, they're, they're designed for people to arrive here in Land Rovers and then speed away. Not designed for men who live around the corner to pick up something and carry it. Anyway, uh, this is my trip to the garden center. The sun is shining, beautiful blue sky. And there's signs everywhere of what they're selling. Arbor, water butts, I have no idea what those are. Wheelbarrows, bins, paving, building aggregates, decorative aggregates. Isn't it amazing what they can call bits of stone? Decking, that, oh yeah, that's the, I think, isn't that the stuff that, that you, you can put on the ground? It's like slabs of wood joined together. Tubs, pots, stakes, poles, flowers, uh, soil, 
fuel. Oh, they sell coal as well, really? Oh, interesting. Didn't think anyone used them. Um, raw fuel anymore. I thought people were all on to gas and electricity, but I suppose it's for barbecues, isn't it? All right, that's me. I'm done. Oh, that looks dangerous. Stakes of wood. Well, I'm not expecting any vampires to come around soon, so I think I'll avoid buying those. And that's it for me, so I wish you all a wonderful day ahead, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.